So anyway, I tried to load video into Final Cut Pro and it exploded. <laughs> so I'm going to show you the workaround that you have to do. First of all, you've got to highlight one of these, slide down to the very bottom here, and you're going to hit shift on your keyboard and then click it. Let me turn it so you can see what happens when I do that. They all light up like that. Then you're going to take your mouse and you're going to come up to the top here. You're going to hit file. You're going to slide down. You're going to hit move to trash. Then you're going to come in here and you're going to click OK. So now that gets all that stuff out of there. Whoops, there's two more left. So I'm going to click this one and I'm going to click that one too. So I've got to hit shift again and click it, and then it lights it. Oh, didn't do it. Where's it? Where's it at? Here. Let's light that one, then put this one here, and then what we're going to do is we're going to hit shift, and then here, and that lights it up. Come back up here, come down, hit trash. It asks me if I really want to do that, and I do. All right, so now those are all out of there. Now we're going to come back up here. We're going to go, first of all, I'm going to unplug this. And then I'm gonna plug it back in. Ugh, this thing's such a pain in the butt. It, it's hard to do with one hand in film. <laughs> but I'm doing it. If I can get it in there. Bam, done. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna come back up here, click this, go to import media. Now I'm hoping that I shouldn't have a problem with it. Now it's gonna show all these like this with the gray lines on them. It doesn't matter, you're gonna click this and you're gonna roll up to where you want to um, import. I'm gonna import all the ones from here to the bottom. So again, I gotta go shift and then click and it lights them all up, you see? Then I'm gonna slide over and I'm gonna hit import selected. And now they should fill in, I'm hoping, without my, uh, yeah, it's starting to work. We're getting them. And then cross your fingers it doesn't crash again. If it does, we're going to see red. <laughs> and that's how you overcome that problem. And for some reason, the iPhone 12... Has the, I have a problem with this. With my iPhone 10, I don't have that problem at all. Never have a problem loading. So, all right, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos on how to do stuff in Final Cut Pro and your iPhone. Peace out.